Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. So we had our first test run in a nice duo duel of the Behemoth, and it worked absolutely fantastic. We've got our guys back off of fatigue. We took no damage, so we had no repairs. And that allows us to get this last mission in. Ambush convoy in the desert. You get a nice amount of salvage out of it. And it's the pirates. Always love beating on the pirates. And let's we can get the Highlander, the Black Knight, the Conquistador, the Archer, and the Vulture all online here. And we're going to get Worm off of the Avatar and onto the Black Knight. We're going to take Capricorn on the Avatar. And let's see. We can get uh, somebody with high gunnery here. We'll take Paradise over here on the Highlander. And we can take Witness on the Conquistador. And we'll go with Bloody Doves here on the Vulture. And Virago on the Archer. That'll allow us to get some more training in on these two guys. And let's get down on the battlefield. One of the nice things about having the Behemoth with this one is going to be area denial for the convoy. We can just drop huge swaths of fire in front of where the convoy is going to be rolling and that will allow us to passively inflict quite a bit of extra damage on the vehicles that are driving through it. Which is very nice. So we can open them up, subject them to critical, critical damage from the heat. Should be good times. The only thing we would need to worry about with it is it's slow, but it doesn't need to be fast. Between the thumpers and the arrow, we've got plenty of range and plenty of indirect range. All right, so we have the denial zone over there. We've got ourselves a hot drop here. Now, what are we seeing? Let's see, we've got a cataphract. Got an axle. Oh. See an AC-20 right there. LRMs, whatever. You got some rockets and stuff. Pirate Locust. Interesting. All right, so... Let's reserve this here. Hey there. Do we have hit chances on anybody? No, we don't. They all have spawn protection. So we're going to reserve this out. We're going to abuse our own right spawn protection here. Let them get their moves on. Ah, oh, see. Fire starter. OG. Oh, nice Omni fire starter there. Now, can we get indirect fire? Not really. So we're going to reserve this out. Let's see, 12, 18, 15, 17. We see a dervish here. So we have to reserve all the way down to 
ten, it looks like. Confirmed. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Moving action. Love the rattle of the AMS in the morning. So we have 2 and 15, and I believe that's our last... Yeah. So we reserve these two guys, and then we should be all set. Now, that, uh, that axle has to go. Waiting for orders. Oh, we got a minefield here. You know, we're going to reserve one more time here. I want to let the cataphract go. All right. Max speed, no shooting. Where's the axle? No medium laser, warlord. Let's go. There we go. That was a nice hit there. I'm going to rotate a little over to the side this way. And let's give the axle hell. Alright, AC-20 off the board. All right, what do we have here? That's indirect. That's also indirect. Who was throwing the mines? The Dervit? Whoever it was isn't uh, isn't saying much. Sensor lock the locust. Oh, right. First turn we can't sensor lock. You always forget sometimes. All right, let's go for the LRM carrier. And that's a crew compartment crit and guns off the board. Now this gives us a chance. Get a little flank over here. Oh, the convoy's 50%. What if we go SRMs here? Looks good. Looks very good. Locust off the board. Yeah, we don't have much of a choice here. We are going through the minefield. Position confirmed. Now, we want direct fire on all of this. Oh, that's good. We can also go indirect on the Kendiru. This is not so good. I don't think we're going to go with that one. I think we're going for the Dervish here. And we're going to go Shape Charge. We've got the hit chance. Let's go. <laughs> How you feel there, buddy? Oh. How's it going? 
Do you feel the pain? No shooting, just running. All right, we're going to take a little risk here, getting close to the cataphract. But we're going Warlord on the Dervish. Let's put him on the ground. Let's put him on the ground permanently. You have orders? Can we not do the minefield? No, we can't. Yes, Commander. Let's check the hit chances here. Eh, not so good. A little better. Let's warlord this up and let's go for let's go for the cataphract here. Yeah, it looks like it's extended range. Good to go. That's some damage. Avatar online. There we go. Let's go for sensor lock. And let's sensor lock the Kandiru. Let's mess with his hit chance. And let's rage out on the cataphract here. Nice, nice damage there. Do you really want to play Heat, buddy? Minimal damage on that hit. I was, that was a light rifle. Well, that, that's all of his rockets, so... What can I do for you? Here we go. Conquistador in the side of the Cataphract. We have all of the hit chance in the world. Let's go. Oh, it's a crit on the Proto Heat Sink kit. I was... Would have liked to have uh, preserved that. All right, here comes fire starter. Okay, I see you, buddy. Ready for orders. Uh, this is going to be move and shoot right here. We go for head. Oh well. Engine destroyed. Commander. Yeah. We're gonna go indirect here. Let's see, we have the pirate alicorn. Triple Gauss rifle. Hey, buddy. Locked on. I want a piece of you. On that was a pretty good piece we got of him. Can we? Yeah. How might I help? All right. Looks like we're going to be stuck taking the fire starter here. So, here we go. Alright, there go the escorts. Very good. Wow, that guy... So much armor. All right, let's bring the vulture in on the Kandiru. He's gone. One for the scrap Awaiting orders. And we're going to go LRMs here. On my way. Double time. 
And one thing we definitely want to try to do is stay out of line of sight here. A little bit of damage. And he missed everything. Perfect. All right, here we go. Indirect shot. Let's go. That's some big hits. Now we've almost got through his armor on the right, left side here. So we want to engage from over here. Can we get the side shot? We can. How much you got here, buddy? You got 134. We're going to try to offensive push this guy and punch right through that side. Got him open. Down to 40. And here comes Capricorn with all of the LRMs in the world. Let's go. Goodbye. We got him. All right. That was a clean, clean mission. We should have minimal repairs from that. Looks like there's some interesting uh, salvage on the board. Definitely going to be taking a look at those pirate gauss rifles. That's something very new for me. Definitely haven't seen those guys before. Let's see. We've got three parts. We could take a cataphract. AC-10 spiky. Let's see. Jam chance, recoil, plus, plus or minus weapon damage. 16 additional base melee damage. That's interesting. AC-20 Devils, 6 recoil, 99 variable damage. Ignores evasion pip. That's interesting. Alright, we've got Pirate ER Mediums. Alright, let's check these guys out. It's minus 1 accuracy. Okay, you got a... 30 damage, misfire, huh, yeah, no, LRM 10 pirate. Okay, uh, let's see. The Ellerin 10 is overheat damage. Okay. The PPZ. Got cores. Uh, don't think so. Got some protos here. I've got plenty of Gauss ammo, Thunder. All right, so it looks like we really don't have a lot of options here. Oh, I think we're going to take the two pirate ERs. We're going to take the AC-10 Spiky because that's that interests me with that 16 melee damage. Do we have... The question is, do we have AC-10 ammo? Now we have two bins. Yeah, that's... Two bins is enough. We don't need to take another one. So we'll just take... I think we'll take a money grab here. At 285 core, 1.9 mil. Endo is only half. What was the PPZ? 428... The gases are under, under a half. That's 1.1. 1 .1. Well, let's grab the um, 
the thing. Core. There we go. So we get a part of the Darvish, part of the fire starter. We get the light rifle, which goes, the LRM-10 pirate goes, the rockets. We sell the two cores. Brawler, gyro... No. AC-20 incendiary. I'm going to hold on to that. And we get that we don't need, and we don't need that. All right, that's a nice little haul up to 3 million C bills again. Right on line with the new financial report coming through in a couple of days, which will burn through probably about half of that or so. I think we're about 1.5 million right now. So let's get ourselves together. Let's get ourselves a new set of missions, see if we have anything worthwhile. Two days of repairs, beautiful. So let's go through it. We're not working any upgrades. 1.6. So let's let's get some upgrades going. How much is Gamma Pod? Gamma Pod is too much. Yeah, we can't get Gamma Pod right now. We're going to need we need to save up so we can get the third training module there. But let's look at the hiring hall very quickly. Oh yeah, uh, Barn Owl over here. Nobody really worth hanging out for. So let's go through the next couple of days. Let's get the financial report in here. Everything's... How many... oh, we still have four, pe four people in fatigue. Okay. Thought maybe we could squeeze out, but there actually there are no more missions for us to take here. All right, so we're at 1.5. And let's see what we have for missions here. Oh, we do have some nice uh, nice things going on here. Let's see, we've got Solo Duel. Attack and Defend might be a little tough for us. And Destroy Base, Capture Base. I'd really like something into like the four skull range at this point, which we're not really seeing. A four and a half assassination. I think we do it. So let's get in there. Here, let's go to engineering. We're going to get ourselves an upgrade here. Let's see, what do we got here? This is uh, reduced upkeep. We have the library, the low G pool. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the low G pool. Yeah, that's the library. We want the low G pool here. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. And, oh, all right, let's see. Minor infraction. Yeah, let's address both of them. Whisper is no longer rebellious. That's good. Lamy is now honest. That's also good. All right. So we need the command center. And here we go. Four and a half skull assassination. Let's get in there. Three salvage. We go with... All of the toys. Everybody's ready to go. Let's get in there. I think we need to look at something we could possibly do with the Marauder. I don't know that stripping the Warhammer is the answer. 
I think one of the things we're going to look at is whether or not it's worth it to invest in either one of the mechs. We still need to repair the Marauder, which gives us an additional Seabill investment. And the Warhammer is repaired, but may actually be lacking its engine upgrades and fusion core, both of which are big investments. So it may not be worth it to repair either one of them. I'm only seeing two blips. Definitely looks like an assault mech there. How's it going? Um, that's not really worth it. Oh, let's see. Where's our route? up or are we just make sure we find the okay here's the border here so we can go around we can go around that way we can go around this way no we can't now this is our only direction to go Kind of a garbage spawn, really. Moving to position. Firm. But we can make do with it. There we go. We got sensors. Oh, it's an archangel. Definitely specialized for melee. You see, he's got 240 DFA and 132 straight melee. We're also, what else are we seeing? An Augustus MBT with just a bunch of garbage auto cannons, a Holapolis with sniper, an Emperor. That's a nice mech. And a primitive Brutus. All right, let's keep rolling around. So we're definitely safe from most of it, but we do have to worry about the sniper artillery and the mortar. Standing by. And we're going to keep moving around the mountain. There we go. Now let's get a sensor lock on Senor Heleplus. I've got a sensor lock. And this is going to go to LK. A nice hit chance there. Now primitive max. Let's get whatever damage we can on him. Awaiting orders. On my way. Virago also following up over here. She's not going to have the same hit chance, only having the Artemis missiles. She really needs a line of sight. What can I do for you? And then we're going to try to get all of our line of sight max as close to the front line as possible here. Good to go. And God we don't need to worry about. And we're definitely going shape charge here. And he's gonna sensor lock is it the Brutus? No, he's going to sense lock the Archangel here. Sensors locked on. 
Uh, no, we wanted the Halepolis here. That's a pretty nice hit chance. And that's a big hit. Oh, I see you over there with your uh, with your mortar. Move and shoot with the Highlander. Let's go. Goodbye. Hostile eliminated. That was a nice clustering. That's uh, that's an artillery piece off the board. All right, let's keep rolling. Do we have uh, pings? No, no pings. No pings. Okay, here comes the archangel. We should be able to start initiating against him soon. Possibly in the next turn. What's up, boss? And it's definitely the piece that I would like to get my hands on. Uh, come on. Yep. There we go. Getting up to the front line. Okay, here comes the Avatar. Now we know the Archangel probably has some really good... Um, yeah, there's the Mortar up there. Damage out. Alright, what is our pleasure here. We got you, we've got you, we've got you. You have more indirect capability. So we want to put the hurt on you the most. Yeah, we got we got a nice amount of damage on him. Nothing into the critical range yet. And Paradise is going to definitely follow up on that. Yeah, we're getting, getting him down. He hasn't gone yet. We're going to reserve this over here. Here he comes. Alright, we can take it. Yeah, there's the mortar. Yeah, we want sprint and cover. All right. Here we go. Yeah, that's nice heat on him. We want to make sure that we impair his mobility enough. That he can't close too much with us. And we can go Warlord here for sure. Hey, let's slip the dogs of war. I hear ya. That's a nice setup here. No shooting. Also going to be Warlord for him. This is a good setup. Well, we've dropped his evasive down. 
We've opened up his right, left side torso. All right, just a small move for the behemoth. And we're going to... No, not direct. We want indirect. We want inferno. Hey, buddy. How's the heat there? Well, we've got him seriously heat up. So we're going to, are, are we taking off, let's see, we got a fair amount here, 8%. Not a good hit chance, but, oh, not what I wanted to do, not what I wanted to do, oh well, we blow off that side torso. He had that nice lower melee there. Heading out, full speed. That's seventeen percent. Let's just go straight for head here with the medium lasers. Firing. We open something up. Oh, we. Did get a hit on his head. I think we're going to slide up this way with the archer. Now we've got the Brutus over here. In the mineral field, so he's definitely going to be a little more difficult to hit. Here comes the Emperor. The plan is to get you into headshot range to go Warlord and breach this cockpit. Nice. We got him to panic out. All right, let's... Oh. Should have a few uh, I await your command. few parts on the board here. I'm walking here. All right, sensor lock on the Brutus. Got a lock. Doesn't help much, but we'll try volume of fire to get this guy down. Uh, let's see. Conquistador. Moving up. Now that I've kind of area denied myself the route upwards. We're just going to move up to the edge of the fire here. Brace that out. Same thing with the Vulture. We still have the Emperor, the Augustus, and the Brutus on the board. Actually, I think we can just stand and shoot here. Now, we don't want Inferno. Is it high explosive here? Oh, it's shape charge here. Let's go. That was a pretty good hit on him. Yeah, we got the front and the side open. Standing by. We have Hydra? Yes, we do. So we're going to go with some Hydra. Lay down... A, uh, a fire field around the Brutus. Try to get some crit seek. 
And we got it. Yes, Commander. All right, Highlander coming in. I think we're just going hit chance here, and we seem to have it on the Emperor. Also a nice mech to have some parts on the board for. Another assault mech. Uh, it's a 90 tonner, if I remember correctly. That was, we can just stand and shoot here. Let's go. Nice. Any way we do it, that's going to be... So we're going to brace this. What can I do for you? They're kind of threading the flames with the Conquistador, getting it up the side of the mountain a little bit. Let's do this. We can stand and shoot this. Let's get a sensor lock on the Emperor here. Eh, no change. How, do we want to heat him up? Is it worth it? I don't think so. Copy that. Let's just go for the big booms. Alright, we can move the Highlander up, following up on the Archer. And that's our last ER. But we do have a critical. And we get some line of sight going on now. To the Augustus. Not bad. I mean, we're long range here. Yeah, we're at max range. But still, we get some damage and some panic on him. And now we've got Virago on the scene. We're 100% going with Artemis SRMs here. Got his side open. Yep. I can take that. And the Emperor, what are you going to get up to? You seem a little confused there, buddy. Alright, we've got flames on the way. But we can handle that. Good night, Gracie. Tank off the board? All right, we are not going to shoot here, as we're going to blow our heat way up. Actually, we're just going to shoot MRMs here. That'll work. There goes his evasive. I'm going to follow up with the avatar here. I like this shot. I like this shot a lot. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> All the ammo in the world just went boom. That was a nice, clean mission. And we've got ourselves an assault mech on the board. Which, if I remember right, we may have a part for already. We do. And we take it. We're going to take ourselves an Archangel here. 
particle field dampener. Minus one accuracy, plus nine heat. Ah, emergency cooling system, plus two. You like to see that. Radical heat sink kit. That's a double heat sink kit. Uh, thermal vision, mark three. Good stuff here. Good stuff. But we're, we are going with the 100 tonner. We also get a part of the Emperor, another a 90 ton mech to have. Nice. Part of the Halepolis. Don't really care. Let's see. Extra heat on a large laser is no thank you. Minus one accuracy is no thank you. Primitive armor, case, the sensors. We get the Thermal Vision Mark III. I like to see that. And we'll, we don't need the auto cannon twos. They are not going to be on our menu at any point. <laughs> oh, we got a nice salvage there. We have ourselves another 100 ton mech to build. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the mech bay and get that guy built. Let's see what we can get out of it what's still in it, what we need to repair. Only three days. Nice. Minimal damage once again. All right, Mech Bay, here we come. Archangel. Oh, we got... Let's see, we got a Timberwolf we can build, too. All right, let's ready up the Archangel. All right, let's ready up the Timberwolf since we've got the parts for it. All right, Solaris 7 Timberwolf. What have we got on you? Let's see, you've got the... You come with the core. You come with the heat engine heatsink 5. One mag shot. What do you cost to repair? Yes. And the cockpit interface. Very... Oh, I like this. I like this. I don't like the compact heatsink kit. But it's an Omni Mech. Gives us a lot of options. Comes with Clan Ferro, Clan Endo, the XL. This is nice, folks. And an exchanger and advanced optics. Rick's sensors. This is a nice, nice mech. Does not. Let's see. Uh, what do we lose? MML 15s. The jump booster pack. I don't see any jump jets in here. <laughs> That's interesting. It had a jump booster pack, but no jump jets. Anybody else see the issue here? <laughs> All right. So it's not going to be the Mad Cat. Let's see. This guy had all kinds of... <laughs> oh, Lord. Talk about trashed. That's almost a million to repair. We've got the emergency coolant system. Radical heat sink kit. Double XL gyro. No engine upgrades. Upper spiked lower melee claws. This is all... Let's see, we've got... 
We've got more claws. We've got an upper spike. Do we have a lower melee? No, that's all we're missing, though. This is interesting, folks. This is definitely interesting. It's going to take us a lot to build it. Let's see. We're going to take a look at the Marauder. What does it take to rebuild this? Not much money. But what it doesn't have is... It's only 450 to repair in 10 days, but we have nothing on it. So it looks like the Marauder is going to go to the scrap heap. It's not going to be worth it for us to rebuild it. The Warhammer. We have a core. but we don't have an engine upgrade. And we don't really have much in the way of options as far as additional weapons. Are we gonna look at, let's look at some components, ballistics, we've got the AC-10 Spiky, LB-10s, an Ultra-10, Yeah, very possible that the Warhammer has seen its last days. Because I do believe the Mad Cat actually gives us better options. It's an Omni. It has the XL in it. It's got the core in it. It's going to give us more options. So we're going to drop the Warhammer down. So we have 27 days to get 1.8 million, which we're actually pretty close to. But we are going to start the refit on the Archangel. So we're going to get the repair. Biggest core we have right now is a 320. Which I don't think is going to give us the mobility we need. Now this well, this it already had it. interesting it had a 320 already but it was going with the improved jump jets and we do have a jump jet booster i believe jump booster pack three um Can we not put another specialist slot in here? Uh, we could get a supercharger on the mech too. And TSM. We could do retractable blades. Let's kind of sketch this out a little bit here. I really want to get the booster track on here. Uh, is it AR-12?
Let's see. One guts, two tactics. This is plus one guts, minus one tactics, plus 10% melee damage, though. All right, let's go with Spiky. And we had, oh, these are two slots, so we can only put one of these on the mech, which kind of makes it not so great. Let's see, we got... Oh, we can't get claws on here. Interesting. This may not be what we really want it to be. As we can only get, we don't have full hands and lower melee. It's built for a melee mech. But it doesn't really have the optimization for it. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, where are armor upgrades? We don't have spiked armor either. Alright, so we're going to put the Archangel to the side for now. And we're going to fit up the Mad Cat. Start the repairs. And I do believe we are going to replace the heat sink kit with a double. Which gets our heat efficiency well over 9,000. I'm going to pull out these, pull out those. Let's see what we have in lasers here. We have two medium X pulses. Uh, let's see, how about we have two regular PPCs. Heavy MRM 20s. Only one MML 15 though. At two tens. Let's see, can we do we can do that. That's let's see thirty five missiles. Heat efficiency is still fabulous. And then uh, medium X pulses. Really like some more of these. Maybe do some ER mediums on top of that. And then heat sinks. We need doubles. Let's max out the armor here. Let's shave this down to a hundred. There we go, that gives us seven tons more. Actually, we can put a double heat sink in the head. <laughs> that works. Still need more. We actually still need more heat sinking. One here. One there. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five slots open, which could be five tons of ammo. Uh, 
let's see what what are our sensors okay that's do we have something better increase sensor and sight range we could do an AR12 oh, we're only four tons here Let's see, these are two tons, one slot. One ton, one slot. Let's see, it's one, two, three. We have four. How many clan heat sinks do we have? We only have three clan doubles. And they're both six per turn. It only helps us with a slot problem, but we'd actually lose one heat sink. All right, so let's get two tons of LRM ammo. Streak, follow the leader, dead fire, tandem. And we can't use Artemis, so that's a thing. So it's just two tons of regular... Uh, no, that's a half ton. We'll take a ton of LK here. Not worth it, actually. It's more worth it to take the double bin of regular SRM. And I don't like it, actually, to be honest. I actually don't like it. It's not singing to me, folks. All right, we're just going to scrap that. We're going to throw the repairs on it. Get it going. And once we get a little more, a few more options in here, maybe we'll have something a little better. And the Archangel. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. What it wants to be... It's just not really good at. I don't know what we were missing that it doesn't want to let us put any more in the specialist slot when it was there before. But it's but at 950,000 in 21 days for what we get out of it it's not actually worth it. So we're just going to scrap this guy out and we're going to take the 400,000 C bills out of it and have a good time. But I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. I appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.